These are beautiful. Before I sit down. Um, this past year, my husband and I were married 50 years. And so we decided that we would take all our family away to a special place. And so we went to Hilton Head Island. And there were 22 of us. And we rented three homes. And um, when we were there, each child, we, I have four children, each child was responsible for one thing. And my oldest girl was in charge of trying to find a gift. And so they sort of all pooled their ideas, and they knew that Linda Lefko had done some work for me, and she had, for those of you who've been in our house, she painted our mural in our dining room. And so they contacted her and asked her what she thought. And she said, well, I think it would be good to do a wedding box. And so she found an old box. She has lots of old boxes. She found an old box, and she painted this. And the, the, one of the nights we have, we have different nights that we, we do different things. And one of the nights is we all go out as adults, and then another night we all go out as a family. And uh, then when we came back, the kids, we didn't know the, uh, about this, of course, when we came back, the, the children uh, came and got this, and I, we were very surprised. Now inside, Linda also writes beautifully, and um, <clears throat> she designed in here, she refinished all of this, and she designed in here, and this is uh, our wedding date, June 30th, 1951, Donald Lester Stork and so forth, and Corinne Mitchell Watkins, and then it gives all the details of our wedding. And then here, it has 50 years celebrated, and then it gives all the family. Mm -hmm. And that's all done in here. And then you can lift up these little, let's see if I can do this. I probably got it locked up. Hmm. All these gadgets. <laughs> then you can lift up these, and then there's place, and she's refinished inside as well, and there's places to put different things. And each one of the family wrote a letter to us. Oh, and so wow. that's all in there. And so this was a very, very special thing for me. Oh, yeah. mm. very nice. And Linda does beautiful work, and so this is a good uh, person to think of for a program. Oh, yes. um, she does yes. many, many things, and uh, she's, she's a good speaker, and she's used to giving workshops and so forth, so I'll give a little plug for Linda. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Corey Stork, but my real name is Corinne, and I was named after my grandmother, and we lived with her for about four years when I was uh, growing up, and uh, unfortunately for my sisters, I was her favorite. And I was named after her, and she did uh, a lot of, I, she taught me how to play cards when I was two years old. And she uh, was, she was just a very wonderful human being. The first uh, genealogist and historian in Oneida County. And she was way ahead of her time in a lot of things. But one of the things, she was very artistic, is she loved to paint anything. And I have a wonderful, which I could have brought, but it was too big is when she was 16, she did a picture of a big St. Bernard, which I have in my... So this is a small one of the things that she did. And it was always in my mother's home, in her home before that. And uh, when my mother died, she left this to me. And so it is in my living room in a special corner cupboard. And she has uh, the date on it, and it, uh, she, would, she painted it in 1891. Oh and. It's just a very beautiful piece, and it's uh, sentimental too. Oh, well. mm -hmm. Don't. Mm -hmm. 